Ron Garcia versus Rolly Romero is now off the table. Now Ron Garcia has a new opponent for the third time in just three weeks. We're going to talk about what's going on with Golden Boy Promotions and Ryan Garcia. But before we do that, make sure y'all hit my like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's cook. So yeah, y'all heard me right. The fight that Ryan pulled out of the Devin Haney fight for, the fight that Ryan wanted all along because he never really wanted to fight Devin until... I don't know what made him decide that he all of a sudden wanted to fight Devin Haney. But the first choice was always Rolando Rowley Romero. And we all know he pulled a stunt on Devin after he was hanging out with Floyd. And yeah, he was getting advice from Floyd. And Floyd convinced him, why are you fighting Devin now? We got Rowley for you. It's going to make you way more money because we're going to do big pay-per-view numbers. And then, of course, Ryan Garcia, he went off, told Devin Haney, look, you priced yourself out and I'm going a different route. And we all talked about it. We said, you know, of course, Ryan and Devin, that's a much better fight, much more competitive fight, a fight that real boxing fans want to see. But Roley versus Ryan is a bigger fight. Because the casual boxing fans are attached to Roly. Roly can sell the fight better. Roly run his mouth, even though he might not back it up in the ring, but he know how to sell the fight. So everybody looked at it. Well, I ain't gonna say everybody. Because the Devin Haney fans, they ain't like that shit. And I don't blame them for not liking it, of course. But a lot of people looked at that as the smarter move for Ryan Garcia. Go fight Roley. You know, uh, later on down the line, Devin Haney fight is going to be bigger and it'll still be there for you. So that's the route that he took. Or that's the route that we thought he was taking. Because like I said in the intro of this video, yeah, Ryan Garcia, now he's not going to be fighting Roley. Oscar De La Hoya just came out and he says that, yeah, that fight is off the table. And the reason why is because Roley Romero priced himself out. That's what they saying. They saying that Roley priced himself out. This is the same excuse that they used for not fighting Devin Haney. They said Devin Haney was pricing himself out. Now, when they said that Devin was pricing himself out, I could believe it because we heard Devin and Bill saying that they was the A side. We hear Devin and Bill always talking that money talk. So it wasn't a surprise that they was going back and forth on who was going to be the A side. Both sides was at a tug of war. And Ryan, he like, I'm bigger. I didn't sell way more pay-per-views when I was on pay-per-view with Tank. I'm the A side. So we're going to go a different route if you don't want to realize that I'm the A side. So the fight fell apart. I'm going to keep it real with y'all, like I always do. That was the story they came out with. Now, I feel that it was more so Floyd Mayweather letting them know, hey, <laughs> nah, fight Roley. Floyd Mayweather giving him career advice, you know, letting them know it's a smarter move to fight Roley. But, you know, it's always going to be a narrative to come out because he can't come out and say, well, after talking to Floyd, we decided that the smarter move is Roley because everybody going to call him a duck. Everybody going to say that he's afraid of Devin Haney. Right. So he's not going to come out and say that. So, of course, he's going to come out and say that Devin priced himself out. That's a no brainer. But now you coming and you saying that Roley also priced himself out. It makes you say, what is Oscar De La Hoya up to? What's going on with Oscar? Because Ryan didn't come out and say that this time. This was Oscar that came and said that Roley priced himself out. Now we go fight Arnold Barbosa. Now I smell a whole bunch of funny shit going on with this situation. And it ain't on Ryan Garcia's behalf this time. It's on the golden boy himself. Oscar De La Hoya because if y'all remember a couple weeks ago Oscar did an interview when everybody thought that Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia was a GOAT Oscar did an interview talking about Ryan Garcia fighting Arnold Barbosa next now when I heard that interview 
I said, why is he talking about Arnold Barbosa when Oscar and Ryan already said that they was actually behind the scenes putting together the Devin Haney fight? But listen to this. Arnold Barbosa, he just signed with Golden Boy Promotions. Golden Boy Promotions also promotes Ryan Garcia. Like we all know, that's an in-house fight. See, they put on that fight. You know who's going to get paid more off of it because it's an in-house fight? He don't got to split the bag with nobody. Oscar De La Hoya. That's the fight that Oscar wants for Ryan anyway. Because if Ryan loses, it's still a win situation for Oscar because his fighter, Arnold Barbosa, can gain all the notoriety, right? And Arnold Barbosa is going to move in front of Ryan Garcia for the next biggest fight with Devin Haney. <laughs> you see, Oscar didn't want that Roley fight. Oscar ain't want him to fight Roley. Not because Roley can beat him. Because Oscar don't want to work with Al Heyman and Floyd Mayweather. And if Ryan fights Roley, Oscar have no choice but to work with Floyd Mayweather and Al Heyman. So if y'all remember, when I did a video last week, for those who watched it, right? I talked about in the video how that Floyd was getting the last laugh over Oscar. Because now... Oscar has to work with Floyd Mayweather and Al Heyman once again to make the fight with Roley Romero. And I also said Oscar don't like that. See, this is a fight that Ryan Garcia strictly wants. And I said that in this video, in the video that I did. Now we see Oscar once again, he said, nah, I ain't going to lay down like that. I ain't going to lay down that easy. I'm going to make sure that Ryan Garcia don't get the Roley fight. And we're going to have Ryan Garcia fight the opponent that I wanted him to fight all along. Arnold Barbosa. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't know how Ryan going to feel about this. I can guarantee you we're going to hear something from Ryan. Ryan going to pop off on social media and he probably going to tell Oscar, I'm not fighting no Arnold Barbosa. I told you who I want to fight. Don't be surprised if it happened. See, Oscar, man, Oscar's in it for himself. You feel me? Oscar ain't in it for Ryan Garcia. That's why him and Ryan are going through it right now. That's why him and Ryan are in court right now. Ryan trying to get out of that Golden Boy contract because of shit like this. Right? Ryan, he believes that he should be able to pick and choose who he want to fight. He not one of those fighters that sit around and say, well, I'm going to fight whoever my promoter give me. Nah, Ryan, he say he his own boss. He do what he want, not what Oscar want him to do. He said them days is over. So Ryan, he ain't, I don't think that Ryan gonna wanna fight no Arnold Barbosa. It's not a big fight. Arnold Barbosa is not a big name. And really, to tell you the truth, Arnold Barbosa is pretty much the same level of fighter Oscar Dorte was. He ain't nothing but another Oscar Dorte. You know what I'm saying? And Ryan want big fights with big name opponents. Now, I'm going to be very surprised if Ryan is down with this shit. I want to hear what Ryan got to say, you know. But it's a new opponent on the table for Ryan Garcia once again. Roley and him ain't going down. Oscar De La Hoya claims that Roley priced himself out. We ain't heard nothing from Ryan Garcia yet, but we'll be hearing from Ryan soon. Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. Drop a comment in the comment section. Make sure y'all hit my like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already sub. And y'all already know how I do. Dago talking that boxing again. And I'm gone. Choking on that needle. Two miles per hour. So everybody. <laughs>